back to the YouTube channel of ProEnzo Vid, and today is my Indigenous All Stars predicted 2022 team. Um, yeah, yesterday I did my Maori team, obviously, so or Maori team. Um, so yeah, look, um, today it's the Indigenous All Stars side. So obviously, you know, uh, I think they've got a pretty talented team with um, some great players, and you know, obviously there's a couple of um, um, a couple of selections I could have chose from. So I guess it's a bit of bit of a competition for a couple of spots in that side, but, you know, I managed to uh, make a team. So, um, yeah, look, I'll reveal my team in a second, but just uh, like to say um, another thank you because uh, I've been getting more subscribers the last couple of days, you know. Like, the growth is just coming out of nowhere. Like, I haven't expected this much growth, you know. There's been, you know, heaps of support on the channel, which I appreciate as well, like the comments and everything, and just um, also in general, just, um, yeah, you know, just some more subscribers, you know. I mean, obviously, if... You, if um, you know, obviously, if you get more subscribers, which is happening for my ch channel right now, it's, you know, it's good, and it, and it just shows the channel is going, is going in the right direction, it's growing, so, um, yeah, so those who just recently subscribed, thank you very much, you know, it means a lot, and it helps the channel heaps, but, yeah, uh, I think it's time to reveal my Indigenous All-Stars 2022 predicted team. So here's my 2022 Indigenous All Stars predicted team. Uh, I'll read out the whole read out the whole team now. So at fullback, I've got Nico Hines on the wings, Alex Johnson and Josh Adokar. in the centres. Katoni Staggs and Hamisa Tabuai Fidia in the halves. Cody Walker and Jamal Fergity. The forwards, the props are Josh Kerr and Ryan James. The hookers, Ruben Cotter. The back row is David Fafita and Wade Graham and Lock Josh Curran. And off the bench, you've got Connor Watson, Tyron Peachy, Andrew Fafita, and Jermaine Tanua Brown. So to give some explanation of why I have these certain players in certain positions, um, to start off with the back line, so at fullback, I've got Nico Hines. Now, I've chosen him over players such as Dane Laurie and Tyrell Sloan because I believe Hines had a better, better year, and Latron Mitchell's also suspended, so I don't believe he'll play. So that gives another, um, well, gives him more of an opportunity to play at fullback Nico Hines and make the team somewhere. Um, on the wings, I've got Alex Johnson and Josh Adokar. Pretty obvious um, selections there, I reckon, but, you know, Saab could be close um, to play, be playing on the, one of those wings as well. In the centres, I've got Katoni Staggs and Hamisa Tabuai Fidel. I, I believe Staggs at full strength should uh, make an appearance in that team somewhere, but again, it wouldn't be surprised if he doesn't play because of a lack of, ga lack of games he played last um, lack of games he played last year due to injury. And the other one is Hamisa Tabuai Fidel, a.k.a. the Hammer. You, you know, I believe he'll also play because... Um, I think, you know, he deserves a, a chance in uh, the All-Stars. He's, he's a fantastic player, and um, I believe he will get a selection somewhere. And in the halves, we've got Cody Walker and Jamal Fogarty. Um, obvious reasons, because they were there last year, so I reckon um, ch don't change it up and keep it uh, the same way it was. Now, the Ford pack was a bit um, difficult to pick, because obviously the Indigenous side don't have uh, much Ford depth, like not really much uh, middle men or anything like that. So... Uh, it was a bit difficult to pick, but I found um, and managed to find some players that will play in the forward line. Uh, so I've uh, got, as the props, Josh Kerr and Ryan James. I believe Josh Kerr will play one prop because he's um, played in many All-Stars matches already. So I believe he'll get, he'll get a selection either way. And the other prop is Ryan James. He's usually there every, um, every year. Um, experienced front rower, who I believe will get a chance and... Uh, yeah, Ryan James, I think, will um, do well when he uh, comes in and plays for that Indigenous side. Now, my hooker's Ruben Cotter. Uh, not not really anyone, anyone else to pick from there. It's pretty obvious, I think. So, Ruben Cotter's my hooker for the Indigenous side. The back rows are David Fafita and Wade Graham. Obviously, you know, these two... I can't really see any of these two being replaced with anybody else. I think these two just pick themselves, pretty much. So, Fafita and um, Graham as a back row combination, it's pretty much... Um, Confirmed in my opinion, and lock Josh Curran, I've got, and the lock Josh Curran, like I said, um, I believe he should be starting because of the year he had at the Warriors. You know, he had a breakout season. Well, he was one of the most underrated players of the 2021 season. So, I believe he's reward. He should be re rewarded with some games, um, at what well, a game like in the All Stars. So, I believe you know that's where he should be playing. I reckon. Last of all, my bench for the Indigenous side. So I've got Connor Watson, Tyron Peachy, Andrew Fafita, and Jermaine Tanua Brown. Uh, the Jersey 14, more of the utility player, will be Connor Watson. I believe he suits that Jersey 14 very well. And I think, you know, he's played many uh, All Stars matches as well. So I expect him to find a way to play again in that um, match. And uh, I believe he'll get a spot somewhere in that team. Uh, I've got Tyron Peachy also there. I don't think Peachy played last year. I might be wrong, but I think I didn't really see him last year play. 
But um, either way, I reckon he'll get a go for that All Stars team Indigenous side. I think you know he'll he could uh, get a spot if he's lucky, but there will, will be a bit of competition. And now um, Andrew Fafita um, in that jersey sixteen off the bench. Um, yeah, look, Fafita's getting a bit older now, so I don't really think he'll be selected in much games like this anymore. But I think just because of um, the lack of um, depth the, the Indigenous side have in the forward pack, you know, that, that might open up an opportunity for him to get a bench spot or something. So that's why Fafita's there. And last but not least, Jermaine Sunil Brown, just to add a bit more forward depth. And I believe he's played some matches for the All-Stars before for the Indigenous side. So that's um, my team right there. So everybody, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And um, I will catch you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody.